you could see my heart beating um, through the skin. Uh, like it, it was something that it's not. That's not normal. That's not good. What we saw in Richard was an opportunity uh, to, and a challenge, quite a challenge, to um, uh, design uh, a, an implant that would be durable enough and comfortable enough for him to have and for him also to have the ability to breathe normally and to be more active and to uh, not be in pain uh, all the time. And this will also provide him with protection for his uh, heart and lungs, which he didn't have before. Dr. Dr. Franz had said uh, I was not an efficient uh, cardiopulmonary machine. I wasn't oxygenating properly and um, I was in a very bad place in terms of my health. We spent a lot of effort uh, in conjunction with uh, Biomet and their engineers to devise a, uh, an implant that would work to restore stability to his uh, chest wall. This was number one of what hopefully will be the beginning of a, of a trend toward utilizing this technology um, really where it's a crossroads between clinical medicine and industry to come up with a customized uh, device like this. Today, getting to look at what is now uh, a normal looking chest, what it uh, looks like anybody else's, it just has some scars, um, which makes it even cooler, I guess, in some ways. Uh, in the end, we were able to, um, to get that device on very securely so that it will um, hold there permanently. What else is there to say? other than thank you.